Well, hello, farming friends. Welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, your buddy, Mr. Moose. Hey, so I want to do a quick course play update for you guys. Uh, as you can see, we're on our North Brabant farm uh, and here in the BGA where our grass cell point is. And uh, if you've been watching the videos, you know I had some issues with this grass cell point and uh, especially trying to automate the tipping into it. Uh, there was a comment a couple of days ago um, on one of the videos uh, from dbullock3 uh, and I really appreciate the fact that he did comment because he just he really got me rethinking everything again and I have spent several hours trying to solve this situation because it's driving me nuts now he pointed out that course play does recommend that when you record your courses uh, you do that without the trailer on the back of it I did go back and reread all of their information on backing a trailer and you should too because there's a lot of great in information there for you but according to their information that if I record a course I shouldn't have any sharp turns and um, that if I do this properly when my trailer comes around and I get to the point where it's supposed to back up course play will actually align the trailer to the waypoints and it will um, back it right up to the tipping point now that sounds fine and dandy and so I went back and because I've tried this every single way I've tried it with the trailer loaded tried it with the unloaded I've seen it done both ways in other videos too I've seen people record the course with and without the trailer and um, you know and it'll work fine I've done it both ways but I couldn't get it to work at all on this so I've been beating my head over and and I finally got it to work and I'm gonna show you what the problem was it's silly um, but it um let me get back to nearest waypoint here it's silly but um, yeah I finally figured it out it took messing around with it for quite a bit here's my course that I have laid out and I'm in work mode right now and what I figured out is this only is effective when you're doing field work it does not matter when you're doing uh, if you're doing grain transport or if you're doing combine mode it doesn't matter in those situations it is only affected when you're doing field work so as you can see I'm following my little course and uh, I'm in field work mode and everything's set up properly the way it should be and my trailer is gonna veer off to the right and leave me and this was where I would get mad and frustrated because I'm like but I did everything the way you told me to do it right so I'm gonna stop the driver now just to prove to you that this is a problem in work mode, uh, field work mode and not in, in grain mode, I'm going to go to grain transport and we're going to just pull over here and uh, we're going to resume our little course and I'll say drive course and it's going to line to the course and this time course play is going to do it properly. It's going to drive around the little loop. And uh, it's going to come up the course, straighten up, and then when it goes into reverse mode, it will then determine that the end of the trailer is what follows the course. And you'll see immediately the tractor is going to correct the trailer, and the trailer's going to back straight up now. The end of the trailer is actually what's sensing the, when you go into reverse mode, the end of the trailer is what is sensing the waypoints and the adjustments are being made off of it. Now you should keep a very straight line when you're doing this as I told you before uh, because it's not going to make a ton of corrections but you can see it did perfect right? Now I'm going to stop and I'm going to pull off of this real quick. Oh I didn't leave enough grass in there. Oh well. It doesn't matter. I can still continue to show you this. So you see it worked fine in grass transport or in grain transport. It will do the same in combine mode. Now, let me show you what I figured out the problem is in field work. I can make it work right in field work. It just took a little bit figuring out. Why is it not doing right in field work? It has to do with what attachment course play senses is on the tractor. I thought maybe by switching Front and, uh, front and rear, which one I activated last or first. I thought maybe that would play a difference in it. That never had any function on it. I tried it every different way then. Then I went through and I disconnected my implements. And reconnected my implements. 
This time, I reconnect the forge wagon first, and then I connect the mower second. And I run the course, and course play will see the forge wagon as the primary implement, and the mower is the secondary implement, and everything will work fine. So around it goes. It's going to come up here. It's going to back up, and the trailer is just going to back up perfectly. So that's it. All the problems I had was because when I originally did my recordings, I had connected the forge wagon first, and I mowed, and it worked fine that first night. But after that first night, I disconnected it to go get straw to take to the chickens, I mean to the cattle, and when I reconnected everything, I reconnected the mower first, and the the uh, the forge wagon second, and that was the whole problem. It's how you connect your implements. So if you're going to do this for mowing, you have to make sure, and you're going to have to back up. You have to make sure that you connect the forge wagon first, then connect the mower, and everything will work the way you want it to. So now I, all I got to do is go back and re-record all of my routes. Uh, and uh, everything will work fine for me. So there it is. I just thought I'd give you a quick video on that so you can see what was going on and uh, where the problems were. And uh, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll do a full course play video on this. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on it so you know where the problem was and uh, what it was uh, all about. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little something with this little quick video. Uh, I certainly have, and uh, I'm glad that now I know what I'm doing, and uh, I can fix the problem. And once again, uh, D Bullock uh, Three, uh, thanks a lot for your comment because you're the one who really got me rethinking everything. So I would at least spend the time to go back and figure out what was going wrong. And um, yeah, uh, I can't believe it was something simple as which how you connect the implements so anyways hey thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video uh and until tomorrow in our next video stay safe and i will see you then bye bye